I think uh, it was my father's influence probably for 33 years he represented the parliament since 1977 so uh, uh, he actually was living with the people helping the people in Gampa district uh, for three decades so I after my uh, after I finished my university uh, after I did my degree at Nottingham University and did my MBA in Cardiff I came back to Sri Lanka worked as a senior investment advisor for five years uh, then I had to make a choice uh, Honorable Prime Minister uh, Ranil Vikramasinghe invited me so I was working with the young professionals for a long time as well which is the, uh, an aligned with the UMP uh, so through that uh, I was automatically uh, brought to this and then I am enjoying it I think it's a it's a pleasure working for people. No, definitely uh, in the last decade, I especially, uh, I mean, the, the reputation, the politician, uh, unfortunately in the 60s, 70s, my father's era or even before, politicians were respected and they, they, were, they were recognized as honest people. Un unfortunately, in, especially in the last decade, uh, that respect uh, that uh, the cream of society uh, were not elected and they were even actually reluctant to get into politics because uh, of the uh, uh, current situation where you know everybody who can't do it much would get into politics so uh, I think it's now is the time and there's a lot of media attention uh, and and it actually encourages people to select uh, uh, you know a good set of members of the parliament for the 15th new parliament uh, <coughs> I came to the provincial council and I, came, I was elected as a member I was the youngest provincial councillor from both sides so it was nice for me to start this at a very young age and uh, that experience now even last year, uh, I was elected uh, the first from Gampa district. Uh, you know, to start at an early, early time is, is a good experience, especially for me at this junction. Because I'm, when I'm getting into the parliament, I have that good six years of experience in the provincial council. I think I have that advantage of uh, uh, having that experience behind me. So. Uh, I like to work with the young crowd, you know, work in the field of education, uh, em women empowerment. I think these are the things that we need to work and think new. Uh, you know, there are, there are old systems that we need to change. In Gampa district especially, uh, though it's in the western province, though it is next to Colombo district, unfortunately Gampa district has the same problems where probably Monragal would have. Uh, unfortunately, we have a huge problem in education. We have a huge problem where uh, women are not involved in the economy. We need to uh, empower women. We need to educate uh, our children. And also the, the system where we need to change. We a lot of people expect uh, uh, just to get a job because you work couple of months with a politician you know you we need to we need to change that system where actually uh, our <coughs> employment is given on on your qualifications so there's a long way to go but I think this election things have changed drastically a lot of attention is given to uh, uh, young people educated people you know they want that respect again in politicians. So I hope, uh, you know, Gampa district, uh, there's a huge educated group. I think they will appoint their uh, members of parliament accordingly. <coughs> it's very hard for a politician <laughs> uh, uh, to keep secrets, but uh, I, I actually don't know what, what a, that's a uh, tricky question. Oh, I, I love watching uh, movies. I, I, that's that's something that relaxes me and my wife and I. 
whenever there's time would uh, uh, get a DVD and, and watch a movie you know that's uh, that's something I enjoy I love watching cricket uh, I myself played cricket in college uh, I, I love watching cricket I enjoy that game as much as possible but unfortunately uh, uh, weekends I, I miss out weekends because weekends are the busiest days for politicians and uh, missing out weekends uh, is a is a disaster.